Hello and welcome to Super Nintendo Classics. In this installment, it's the classic game by Taito. This is Bust a Move, otherwise known as Puzzle Bobble, if outside North America. Um, Bust a Move or Puzzle Bobble was released in 1995, and this is a sort of spin-off of the Bubble Bobble universe into a puzzle game. Um, in Bust a Move, if you've ever played it, this should look instantly recognizable. Your object is to um, shoot a marble at other light-colored marbles, which knock down um, marbles that are attached to it, and clear the round. But, just like any puzzle game, if you uh, if the stack reaches too high, in this case, uh, because you're stacking it backwards, or inverting it, you will lose if, you, uh, if, you, if the stack reaches to the end. There's, of course, a two-player... Um, you know, versus mode, and there's a versus the computer mode, and there's a single player puzzle mode. So there's a lot of options in, in uh, Puzzle Bubble here to make it a sort of game that will instantly appeal to just about anybody. This is one of my favorite games of all time. So, alright, so let's play the Super Nintendo board of Bust a Move. So let's do a uh, single player, and from the beginning. As first, as soon as you start the game, it gives you this little um, meter that shows you where the um, where your marble will land if where you point at it. So you can sort of you know get used to this. But after the first stage, uh, this little um, hint system goes away, and you have to manually aim where your where your uh, marble will land. Sometimes you'll get the wrong color, so it's kind of useless, so stack it somewhere where it will be knocked down with the others. See if I can do this. Alright. Now I don't have the benefit of that anymore, and I have to sort of manually aim my shots. I didn't quite get that right. If you look real careful, you can notice that the marbles are actually these little bubbles that uh, Bob and Bob uh, trap enemies in. You only have a limited period of time to decide what you're going to do, otherwise it will shoot automatically when the timer runs out. The fire blocks, or the fire bubbles, I guess, um, will destroy anything of that single color of bubble. So I want all the green ones to go away, so there we go. Oh no, that's not how it works. I'm sorry, I was getting it confused with something else. That incinerates all the blocks um, within a given area, just to teach you how that works. The lightning bolts work just like the lightning bolts in Bubble Bubble. You hit them, and they fly horizontally. Thank you. 
to screw that up. And say what you will about the audio, I just love the music in this game. It's just so pleasant to listen to and so iconic. Much like the uh, original Bubble Bubble music. Over the years, Puzzle Bubble, or uh, Bust a Move here, has been uh, ported around to just about every system. Um, and that's because, you know, you can't go wrong with this game. There are versions of uh, Bust a Move for the Game Boy, the Neo Geo, the Neo Geo Pocket, the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, the GameCube, um, PlayStation, PlayStation 2, um, Xbox, um, Jeez, what else? The Super Nintendo like it have here. I actually own the Super Famicom version. Uh, the N64 got several versions of this game. PC, I'm sure. Um, jeez. Like, the, like, there's so many systems that got versions of Puzzle Bobble or Bust a Move. And why not? Because this game is like Tetris. It has instant appeal and it has lasting appeal. In fact, I might even go to say this game might be even slightly better than Tetris. I know that's, you know, hard to say that because Tetris is Tetris and how can anything compete with that? But even so, this game is a game that I can always return to and it's a game I want to return to. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, so I'll do one more round. that again. And since I lost, I get the aid of my, uh, or of, of the uh, helper pointer. So now I really have no excuse if I lose. for this video, so thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions about Bust-A-Move here, feel free to drop a comment in the comment section down below, and also be sure to hit that like button, because hitting that like button lets me, to lets me know how to make more of these videos for you guys. Because, you know, I kind of want to make videos that are tailored to what my subscribers want to see. So if you want more Super Nintendo videos, you know, the best way to tell me is to uh, hit that like button. It also lets other people know about my videos too, which helps it spread and helps me, uh, you know, grow my community. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to drop them in the comments section. And, once again, I'll see you guys next time.